So, I'm by the door. And well, my friend Tana is not too sure about whether she feels like going back out or not. Oh, there's the big stretch. <laughs> I don't even necessarily think she needs to go to the bathroom or anything, but I'd love to take her out while she's here. Um, and while I was standing here, as you saw, she wasn't coming until I kneeled down. So that's actually a little trick of mine. Whenever you're standing up and your dog is not coming towards you, yeah, we got a little jump, probably more of a stretch there. She's just being nice. Um, but as you kneel down, uh, it can be a little inviting. So that's where they can let you know, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm coming. And so <laughs> it's good that she's making that choice because I would love to go for another walk with her so that we can spend some time outside. We'll keep this one probably quite light. I won't expect too much, um, but we'll go and have some fun regardless. Hopefully we'll run some dog as well. Yes, some dogs. Yes, some doggies. <laughs> of course, what are the chances? I'm going to take her out. No Lilo? Okay, see you in a little bit. Tan, let's go. <laughs> Speaking of jumping, that's a hard one. I'm not gonna fight Tana on that one. I know, that was a tough one. <laughs> uh, I know, even I, my brain froze. Even I went derp. <laughs> I almost forgot you were there. Sorry, that's that's you know my own distraction. <laughs> I have to train myself to to react better. Boop, boop, boop. Well, that's a tough one. That was a tough one right there. They were too close for her. But. I think seeing Angela just now has added a little bit of excitement, a little bit of pep in her step, which is good. If I have a dog that's with me, that is feeling a little out of place, a little not too sure in their own skin or in their own fur, let's go. Just like she is right now, where she's thinking about things twice. The beauty about dogs is they, they think and they go. Doesn't mean they, they can't think. Thinking twice doesn't mean she cannot actually think. Dogs think and they can think very fast. But I don't want her to second guess herself. Um, and that's what she was doing right before we walked out. She was second guessing herself a little bit. And then um, she finally decided to walk with me, which of course I want her to choose to walk with me. So if that's not happening, you know what? As much as I want to do training, the main thing I need to focus on, Tana, over here, let's go. Main thing I want to focus on is helping her feel good. I much rather have a dog that is likely to jump as a way of saying, hey, I'm feeling good about myself and the environment and I'm just happy-go-lucky, I'm just social and friendly, as opposed to, um, I don't want to say hi to anyone because I don't really feel good. I'd rather not even walk out. And that's what she's feeling a little bit more like at first, but then we ran into Angela and even I didn't really know what to do, but um, or at least I froze and couldn't really even take myself out to to guide Tana in that moment but what Tana was doing was being friendly was being social which again is the opposite of how she was when I first um, got ready to to head out so for now as long as she's feeling good, I am then okay to start building on the behaviors that I want her to also feel good about. If she's not feeling good and we're doing training, she's likely to not feel good about the training and thus not likely to give me the results that I want, the results that she wants. So if I have her feeling good, if that means a little jump here and there that lets me know clearly my dog is feeling good and positive, then I can uh, move forward knowing that I have a dog that's feeling good and training is gonna be a lot more fruitful as a result. We're gonna cross the street now. Ah, let's go! <laughs> let's see if I can get you feeling even better. <laughs> yes, grab that leash! Grab it! <laughs> up, 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 up. Not much going on around here. 
it's normal because it's cold, it's dark. So there's a dog over there. I believe it's a golden. Tana's curious, but she's not pulling. You can see the fish is loose. <laughs> gonna keep on walking. I know you're a little unsure. <laughs> Come on Tana. <laughs> Good job Daphne. <laughs> Let's go Tana. That's Daphne. I know. Let's go. <laughs> you actually were very mindful of her. She's interested in you but she is not too sure what to do about you. Tana, she doesn't know you. So, you did great by giving her space. You know, you could have easily just tried running or pulling her way, uh, jump her way, anything, to, to let her know, hey, I'm friendly, I'm Tana, I wanna play, I'm a puppy. But you didn't do that. Instead, what you did was, hey, you know, I think I hear you, meaning I think you want space, so let me give you that. Even though we weren't that close, we were close enough where Tana felt like she needed to give Daphne space, that was perfect. I had nothing to do there to guide Tana. Tana did it all on her own there. That was amazing. So I'm gonna let her sniff a little bit, then we're gonna go into that busier, busier street over there. A lot going on. Right? I know. Crazy. A dog over there. This one you wanna say hi a bit more. But we'll let him come to you. I don't think he's even noticed you yet. What a nice sit. <laughs> the leash is quite loose. <laughs> Tana, let's go. I know, he wants to have his sniffing time. She's not trying to pull back. She wants to go back, but she's not pulling. Tana, let's go. I know, a lot of distracting smells. Let's go. He's curious, but she's walking on. Not many dogs available, at least not for play, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'm not worried about Tana's social skills with dogs. I want her to learn that uh, even when we don't get to play with dogs, we may not get to play with any dog that we see, and that is okay, meaning we just have to walk on and be okay with that. I know she has had a tougher time with that before a little bit, um, so she's doing great now. I would have liked for her to play, but when it was time to play, she was having a nap. She was recuperating from the earlier outing, and I don't want to uh, ruin her sleepy time. I don't want to get in the way of it because it's super, super important. She wouldn't be sleeping for anything um, because we, of course, did an activity prior to her sleeping. So I know she's resting from that and I want her to be able to rest from anything she feels she needs. Getting excited? I think she wants to go back inside. I think she still wants to rest a little bit more. And that's okay, so again, we're keeping this walk rather short, rather sweet. I'm not expecting too much from her. And then we'll head back inside for a bit more rest. I know. You're doing well. I know. Let's go. She's curious about things, which is good. But overall, she's feeling light. We don't go to this area here too much. <laughs> This. When you're working on enrichment, specifically socialization and mental enrichment, it's critical that we allow our dogs enough time to rest, to rest properly, um, w being as, as much, uh, letting them uh, rest as much as possible without um, much noise or without bothering them, as that can also affect their behavior. Tana, let's go. Nothing for you to grab. Let's go. Otherwise, when we're trying to do more socialization or training in general, we may have a restless pup and that on its own can be uh, can be challenging for us and for a pup. So we want to keep, um, we want to allow our dogs to rest as much as possible. I'm seeing one over there that's very excited. We may not be ready to tackle that. We don't know that dog. Super, super, super excited. So we may let them um, take the space that they need first. I'm not sure if they're walking by or not. Um, we may go the other way or cross the street, so we'll see what they do. 
Okay, they're gonna cross the street. Perfect. And now we walk. Yeah, that dog's got a lot of energy, look at that. So, not that anything bad would happen, but um, if I'm a little unsure about a dog, I can't expect my dog or the one that's with me to be sure about the situation. So, if I'm unsure, there is no harm in taking my time and space uh, as far as tackling that goes, so that uh, we can both feel, up, 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 Tana, you're getting distracted there. I think something threw her off a little bit. Not sure if it was this gentleman here. Just, he didn't do anything, he's just walking past. Um, but she got a little spooked. So, again, that's why we're keeping this walk short. Because she, I think, is ready for a break. Even though she's doing fine. She got a little distracted there. Wasn't really sure what to do. And, of course, I don't want her walking into the street. So, I'm going to keep the leash a little shorter for now. She's letting me know, hey, I'm having a tough time. And, like I said, this is a busy area. Especially for her. So, we'll keep it short, sweet, and we'll head back. She's still just a pup, she's still very young, so she needs guidance just like any dog, and time, and patience. And above all, things, to, things need to feel doable for her and I. So if something feels too hard, like that street over there was very distracting, a lot going on, okay, then let's go back somewhere that we are more familiar with, that is a bit more doable. Tana! I know, no need to grab things. Here you go. Let's do a few rewards for not grabbing things, because there's quite a few things around here. Here, find it. Wow, such good eyesight and nose. There's a lot here on the floor. So, in this case, instead of seeing what happens with something I don't yet fully trust her with, which is to not grab things, I'd rather give her something else to do, something else to grab. And she's obviously very happy about that. It's just a leaf! So silly. Let's go. That's making a weird sound. Yes. Let's go. That sound means keep walking. Nothing to see here. Keep walking, you get a treat. Pass go, collect a treat. Find it. Every time she gets super excited, she almost goes to grab the leash. Let's go, ah, I don't know what to do with myself, gotta grab something. She grabs the leash. <laughs> I love all that eye contact. It's more than you give me all day. Not that you weren't able to, but Tana, here. I like it, so here's a reward for it. All right, we're gonna cross.
That was interesting. Very interesting. Tyne, I think, handled it like a pro. Definitely not something we planned for. <laughs> we can anticipate dogs barking. We cannot anticipate dogs chasing us. But it's good that we were as prepared as possible for it because Tan and I have a pretty good bond and I think at first she was just interested in all the excitement that was coming from that direction. So I just want to make sure that we... People getting very close is challenging. Yes, <laughs> on top of the excitement that we just went through. But we're not gonna go back over there because the dog may or may not be off leash. <laughs> yes. Oh. Tana, over here. This one's a tough one. Ah, let's go. <laughs> I, know. I know, challenging one. You're not too sure what to do there. I know, that was a tough one. A dog that's unsure about you, asking you to give them space. That was tough for you, tougher than with Daphne outside. That was for sure. But good thing we have a leash so that way I can guide you. You just had a brain fart at that moment, I know. Where you weren't sure what to do. Do I, do, do I go engage, do I not? <laughs> Especially maybe indoors is a little bit different for you. But we went through it. And we came out on top. Yes. She didn't bark back. She didn't really lunge or pull. She was just, again, more curious. Um, that's what it often is with Tana. It's more curiosity above all else. So I'm gonna help her here so we can recover from our last meeting with Angela. So I'm keeping the leash long enough where she can say hi over there but she does not get to jump yes and i'm not holding her back any further she's the one staying this close to me where she could go and, and try to jump right now but she knows the drill she's quite smart it's just about the environment being set up for her so i'm gonna go a bit closer <laughs> she's reminding me that she's still very much a pup head all over the place, nose all over the place. <laughs> Who knows what she's thinking right now. I know, go try again. Go try greeting again. That's good, I'm gonna reward that right away. Yes. She's right behind you. I'm barely holding on to the leash there. It's just a very gentle reminder that she felt that I was holding the leash. I'm not push pulling it back or anything. Yeah, another little reminder for her. She's like, okay, 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 fine. Fine, I can't say hi the way I wanna. I don't wanna say hi. <laughs> I know, I know. So many lessons. So many lessons. And you wanna just say hi. Why can't you just say hi the way you wanna say hi? Hi? Huh? Why can't you just say hi the way you wanna say hi? Huh? I know, so silly. Sounds silly. <laughs> oh, she almost jumped there, but she held back. Tana, good job. Incredibly smart, this one. Oh, she's right behind you. Why don't you go try a jump? Oh, yes, good job. <laughs> Let's go get some treats. Let's go play some games. <laughs> 